This module is about making forest plots with metaphor. I want to talk about uh, ordinary, sort of unsorted, sorted forest plots with moderators and cumulative forest plots. So the forest plot is a graph, typically shows effect sizes along with the confidence interval for each effect size. And um, typically there's a, an overall mean at the bottom of the graph. And it's quite helpful for seeing the what you have for data and uh, getting ideas about why it looks the way it does and communicating all that to your reader. And it's also quite useful for representing moderators. You know, it's a, it's a great visual display of your data. Forest plots can also show aggregates. So there's a cumulative forest plot and then there's a leave one out forest plot. And I'm going to show you the cumulative forest plot in this one and the uh, leave one out in a subsequent uh, video that's about um, sensitivity analysis. So the R code, um, I'm going to show you two data sets. Both of them are uh, correlational. Uh, both of them have transformed to Z um, or will in the in the code. Uh, McLeod data are, is about parenting and child depression. I'm going to show you the unsorted forest. Then I'm going to sort by effect sizes. Then I'm going to sort by precision, and then I'm going to sort by a moderator and the effect size, test for the moderator, and represent all that in one forest plot. Then I'm going to go to the uh, rocks data, and that's about leader member exchange and continuance commitment to the organization. I'm going to show you that data sorted by year, and then show you a cumulative plot by year and compare those side by side. Okay, let's take a look at the output. I wake up metaphor. I wake up XLSX. I've loaded the packages. So um, McLeod 2007 is a data set I worked with earlier. So we've got parenting and childhood depression. Um, I read in the McLeod dat from uh, my desktop and then I print it out. So we got author year uh, age of the sample, got correlation, got the sample size, got some moderators. DX is whether the child was diagnosed in the study, diagnosed with depression. And now um, I run the analysis and I get the results from a cloud and we've got 45 effect sizes and the mean is about uh, 27, and then I say, um, give me a forest, please. So forest McLeod results, and the forest plot looks like this. Here's the value for zero. You can see each study is shown as a box, and the um, the more the heavier boxes, the bigger boxes represent heavier weights, and the wings are the limits of the confidence intervals. And we have the, the mean or overall effect size at the bottom. We have numerical results displayed here and the study number over here. And you can see we're about 27 here. And these are our data. And you'll see lots of graphs like this in uh, meta-analysis reports. Um, that's not the best way to, to do this kind of graph, though. So um, I think you should probably sort the data because it's going to be easier to see if you do. So let's, all right, so now um, sort the data set. Uh, you need to, to either attach the data set or you need to refer to uh, variable names a special way. So um, McLeod data sorted by effect sizes gets McLeod data and order the data set by McLeod dat dollar R. So this means the variable R in this data set. And I want to sort it and order the whole data set uh, by that value. And so here I've got the, the data. And here we have the correlations. And you can see they go from 0, 10, uh, 67. So that's the, um, the data are now sorted by the correlation. So I want it sorted by effect size. Uh, and then I run the. Um, RMA, the, uh, the meta-analysis program, and then I say forest from that result. When I do that, 
I get the um, the nice sorted uh, forest plot. And you can see, it looks like there were three studies that didn't report an effect size that they it said it was not significant. And so they said, OK, we'll call those 0. And you can see they don't quite fit. And that's easy to see in this graph because you see this nice long progression. It's typical to see the curving out at the bottom and the top where you have some small studies that are extreme. But you want to see a nice even progression through your studies like this for the most part. And you can see this pretty much falls in the middle as you would expect. So this is a nice uh, way to show your uh, forest plot that's easy to under understand. Um, we could also sort it by precision, which we're going to do next. All right, and if we do that, what we see is um, this is actually similar to a forest plot. I mean, I'm sorry, here's a forest plot. Similar to a funnel plot, um, except the, the forest has the wings on it, so you see the precision uh, right away. And you can, um, I usually will move this to uh, PowerPoint and then draw a line right down the middle where the, the mean is. And you'd like to see an even spread on either side of the mean. What you worry about is when the points fall off to the right side and the small, uh, less precise studies have larger effect sizes. And it's quite visible if you just put a line down the, the mean. And I want to show you a uh, moderator. So I'm going to sort by the moderator. Now, in practice, I would, I would, I would only test a, a hypothesized moderator and then if it's significant I probably would sort by the moderator then but I already know this one is significant so I'm going to sort by the moderator then by the effect size and then I'm going to show you the test for the moderator and the resulting graph. Okay sort by the moderator. All right so um, the moderator I'm using is this diagnosis variable and so I've called a new data set McLeod DX yes so I sorted by diagnosis and then by effect size. And the way I do that is I start off with the McLeod dat, which is original data set, and I order it by McLeod dat dx, which is the name of the variable for the moderator, and then by r, which is the effect size. And then I just uh, run the uh, meta-analysis with the moderator, so mods is equal to factor dx, so this is set up as a categorical variable. And then uh, I ask for the results, and it shows me the results. And you can see that the uh, moderator is significant. And then I ask for a forest for that result. And what I get is this. And you can see it's um, partitioned the effect sizes into the two levels of the moderator. I did that by sorting. And it's also done each of them by the size of the effect. So I, I sorted by first by dx and then by r. The gray diamonds happened because I asked for the moderator analysis. If I had just sorted and printed, um, I could do that, but I wouldn't have the results of the analysis. So you can see the mean for uh, this group and then the mean for this group. And it looks like not only is the um, the diagnosed groups group have a higher mean, but it also has a greater variability to it. I, I didn't test for the difference, but it looks that way. You can, if you want, instead of having the diamonds appear here, you can not test for the moderator here and and um, uh, plot this object. You can instead do just the sort and the plot, and then add uh, the means down at the bottom, which I'll show you in, a, in another video if you'd rather do it that way. I like uh, this. It shows you a great deal of information about the, um, the nature of the data. And you can see you have these two oddball zeros, and this one particularly is out of whack here. So if, it were, if I were actually analyzing these data, I'd probably, for a sensitivity analysis, kick out these three studies and uh, rerun it for comparison. Okay, so that's the um, first data set. And now the second one is this ROCKS data. 
I've read in the data and I've sorted it by year, uh, data publication. And uh, now I've run the uh, meta-analysis and I've got my uh, results here, which are these. And now I want a forest that corresponds to those results. And when I do that, I get 10 studies. And you can see that as the years go by, uh, the effect sizes pretty much systematically get larger. Um, the overall mean is right around zero. And now I'm going to run the uh, cumulative analysis. To do that, um, say um, rocks cumulative gets cumul, C-U-M-U-L, rocks res 1. So rocks res 1 is the the object that came out of the initial um, ana meta-analysis. And then the order that I want is um, rocks that year. So let me show you side by side what those look like. So here's the effect size by year and you can see that 03 minus 7, 12. And here's the cumulative results by year and you can see it goes negative and then comes more positive but basically settles right in around zero and you get to the same place. But here you can see what's happened over time in, a, in an interesting way. This is mostly used in medicine where they want to know um, the clinical trials, at what point was the drug or the surgery or whatever uh, known to be effective. And it's also used sort of in the sociology of science. So what happens over time to effect? Okay, so that is how to create forest plots in metaphor.